We are going to answer this question and show proof about why you're always living in the past. Now, what does it mean by saying that you're always living in the past? Uh, it means that whatever you see right now that you think is happening is not happening or in fact has already happened. We reviewed and I'm going to give you a link to, you know, uh, the previous uh, video and you can also take a look at it in our blogs. We said that for sun to reach the earth, the sunshine, if I can call it like that, to reach the earth, we said it's going to take eight minutes, approximately eight minutes plus, uh, you know, 10 to 30 seconds, depending on at what point of the country you are and, you know, where the earth is in relative position to the sun, depending on the time of the year. But essentially, the sun has essentially shown up on the horizon of the earth, but for the sun rays to reach earth, it has taken eight minutes and let's say 10 seconds or 20 seconds on an average. That means that by the time you thought the sun rose, if you saw that, I'm just going to, for the purpose of this uh, thing, I'm just going to say eight minutes approximately. So if you thought that the sunrise was at 6 a.m., essentially what you saw, but what actually happened was that the sun came up eight minutes before. So it came up at 5.52 a.m., a clear eight minutes before you saw the sun. Now, in what other, uh, I'm going to give one more example. If you have ever gone to a July 4th parade, uh, you've seen uh, firecrackers lit up in the sky, and you will notice that there is a huge, you know, explosion that you see. And you will notice that that explosion, you see the light first, followed by maybe a half a second or a second later, you will actually hear the sound later. That's because you have light traveling at about 300 million meters per second and sound travels at 340 meters per second, almost 1 million meters per second slower than light. Now, this is the reason why you see the light first and then the sound coming later. Now, I want to show you one more uh, phenomenon that you would have experienced, which is you will notice that, uh, I'm going to try and see if I can draw, you know, draw thunder. That's uh, my clumsy way of actually showing a thunderbolt. Uh, you will actually see that lightning strikes first, and then you'll notice that then then you hear the thunderbolt sound later. And that is exactly for the same reason. Light is traveling at 300 meters per 300 million meters per second and sound is traveling at 340 meters per second. So pretty much everything that you're seeing here has already happened. So everything you see has already happened, meaning that you're actually living in the past because what you're seeing has already occurred. Even light takes that time. We talked about the sunlight coming into you. So even the light is taking time to come to you and the sound even much takes much longer. So basically, if you think that you're seeing what has already happened, that means that you are living in the past. Bingo, have fun.